Hey everyone, welcome to the third Digging Winning Streaming Guide video. In this video, I will show you how you can set up your poker stream. So let's get into it. DW. This is where we left off in the previous video where we set up our intermission screen. And in the first video, we set up our gaming scene. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to once again create a nested scene. And we're going to call this the poker scene collection for example poker nest let's call the poker nest keeps it consistent with the gaming nest so what we're gonna want to do first of all is we once again gonna add our webcam so we're gonna add a video capture device click on webcam boom there we go next thing we're gonna add is our poker overlay create a new one call it poker overlay and then we're gonna select it in the folder that we have poker overlay open it and there we go, we've got our poker overlay. Now what we're once again gonna do is position the webcam in the overlay. And we do that by just dragging it and scaling it. And there we go. We've got our poker overlay. Now we're not good to go just yet. Once again, we're gonna add a live chat. If you wanna know how you want to add your live chat, um, be sure to watch the previous video on how to set up your intermission screen. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a browser source again, add existing, add the chat. And once again, it just imports the same width and height uh, that we use in the in intermission screen. So what we're going to do is unlock the overlay. I'm going to position it. Now what we see is that the dimensions on this overlay are actually a little bit different than in the intermission screen. Now don't change it in this source uh, panel because when you change it here it will also change it in the intermission screen so what you're going to want to do is you want to copy this url click on ok remove this source and we're going to add another source browser and we call it chat poker and then we're going to paste the url again and we're once again going to play the game of guessing the width I'm going to go for 460 and the height had to be more. So we're going to go for 400 and oh my God, I am, I'm, 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 it's scary how good I am. It's scary how good I am with guessing the height or the width. Every time the height is off, but the width, ooh. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but just wanted you to know. 350. Oh, that's super good too. Can make it a little bit larger, but we, we've got clipping enabled anyway, so it doesn't matter that much um so there we go now it looks good so we have a chat going on we've got a cam going on we've got the overlay going on now the next things we want to add is the information below the cam now you can completely customize this in the free digging winning streaming package overlay um that that you could have downloaded and that you can still download by following the link in the description so what we're going to do is we're going to add text sources because in the gaming scene we've got it outlined to the right and here we're using a left outline, we have to make another text source. When you change it in the source panel, it will change it in all the scenes that you have. So what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to create a new uh, text source. And then once again, we're going to read this from a file and we're going to select the files that uh, stream labels from Streamlabs is uh, creating for us. And also this I will once again link in the description down below. If you want to know how it works, I recommend watching the first video. So here we're going to go to the most recent follower, select that file again, and there we go. And we're going to place this right here. Also here, change the custom text extents so it doesn't get too long. Click on OK. Now, if you feel like, okay, the text is, in my opinion, too big, you can always change the font size. This is really where most of your time will go when you're setting up your OBS stream. So um, next thing we're going to add is the uh, recent donation. But also here, once again, it will be too small compared to the gaming uh, overlay. You can also scale it, but I think the quality gets worse. So what I do is I just create a new one. And the next thing we're going to add is another text source, which is going to be the uptime. We're going to use Chrono Up for the uptime. And there you go. And then the next thing we're going to add is the current playing song. Click on OK. And also here, read from file. And this time we don't use SNES, but you, we use SNP. And then we select this text file that it creates. Also of this, once again, we're going to add the download links in the description and then we are going to use a custom text extent here because songs can sometimes have a very long name. 
And boom, there we go. We've got everything set up. We've got a chat set up. We've got the information below the cam set up. And now the magic happens because we have to add our tables. And this is why we use a nested scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new scene. And we're going to call it. You're going to want to add as many scenes, as many tables as you want. So if you want to add six tables, you want to play six tables, you want to add six scenes. So what you're going to do is you're going to call it this forward top left poker. Click on OK. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add this scene that you just created. Click on scene and then you click on um, the poker nest. And there you go. You've got once again all your assets in one source. Now the next thing we want to add is a display capture because that's where your poker action will take place. Click on display capture. Click on OK. And then select whichever display you want. In this case I want my main display. Click on OK. And now you've got massive inception going on. You want to move this display capture below your poker nest. And then it's really just a matter of positioning the display capture to your liking. What you're going to do is you're going to look at your sources. You can first of all duplicate it. So let's say this is top left. You can go into right click. You go into transform. Go edit transform. And then what you see here is you see your position. You see your X and your Y. If you imagine your screen. Top left, let me put here, wait, top left, <laughs> for you guys, top left and middle left and bottom left, right? The X stays the same, the X stays the same. So let's say the X is in this case, um, the X is in this case 24, you know that for middle left and for bottom left it will be 24 as well, only the Y has to change. So what you can do is you can easily... Um, Make sure that all tables are always in the same place so that when you switch scenes, it's always going to look the same, it's going to look consistent and you don't have like your tables bopping around. Uh, so what you want to do as well is you want to use a, um, a layout, uh, but for example in PokerStars to make sure that your tables always pop up in the same layout. And you can do this as well with Party Caption or Stars Caption, um, so I really recommend to, to check that out. So your stream looks really professional, really clean, and there's not too much distracting stuff happening when you're moving tables, when you're switching tables, when you're switching scenes. So you know, for example, your top left is 24. You can duplicate this scene. You call it middle left. You hit OK. And then what you're going to do is transform. Go to edit transform. And what you do, you keep the X the same. And you're going to play around with the Y till the point that it looks exactly the same as top left but then for the middle table and then you do the same for the bottom table and for all the other tables that you want to add and just like that you can set up your poker stream and you should be good to go and that's really the um the secret of setting up a poker uh, poker scene which is making use of a nested scene if you want to know how you can add delay to your poker streams be sure to check the next video on the digging winning streaming guide so I hope this video helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.